Praise the Lord, child of God. How are you? God bless you. God bless your family. This is Prophet Okumbo Abraham Kenneth, the Assembly of Brethren USA. First, I want to thank America and thank the church. I want to thank uh, religious people, strong men and women of God in the land, the old and the young who have supported us all through these years. I say, may the Lord bless you and may he keep you steadfast, unmovable. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Real quick, I have a quick prophetic word for the church and I want you to hear me. About a year ago, I was talking to the church about three prophecies that God gave me. In that vision, I said, I seen that uh, uh, we should pray for the uh, both the king and the queen of England. And I seen that, uh, that God had shown me that the, the prince of England was going to die. And after his death, we should pray for the queen of England. I remember the prophecy was about a year, a year ago, <clears throat> when the Holy Ghost said to me that the year 2021, 22, and 23 will be troublous and chaotic years. Um, I want you to know, uh, we just heard of the death of the queen of England. I want you to pray for their family. <clears throat> I always ask people to pray for other people because uh, nobody uh, is perfect in the world. They made a lot of mistakes too, just like I have made my own mistakes in life. And God is gradually correcting every one of us and putting us uh, at the right track uh, in life. Uh, let's cry out to God for the family because the Holy Ghost told me that her death will be uh, an open door for certain things. And also hear me, child of God. You know that when people die, uh, there are certain people who uh, would not love to respect their family, uh, uh, I mean, you know, the queen's family, uh, just because, you know, you feel now that the queen is dead, you know, you can then say the things you want to say, bad, bad things you want to say. Don't say bad things about them. The earth is a place of struggle. Most times, most people don't even know what they are doing, the effect of what they do. So pray for one another. Forgive one another. Bless one another. Help one another. We are heading, I told the church, I said, that the Lord told me that we are heading to dangerous days. Don't also forget that the Holy Ghost spoke about the, the, the Roman Catholic Church, the Pope of Rome. What God is about to do, be prayerful. That's why we buried our head in prayers all these years. So the Roman Catholic Church, the Holy Ghost spoke to us about it, spoke to us about the Queen of England, spoke to us about the Prince of England, and also told us about the Pope of the Roman Catholic Church. God say, watch the white garment churches, the white garment churches, and, and, and all these things that the Holy Ghost has been revealing all these years, just pray for the world. Because if the church is heading to dangerous days and it is the will of God to change certain things, there's nothing man can do about it. There's nothing one can do about it. Uh, I also want to use the opportunity to, uh, to speak to uh, family members. You see, uh, the fact that you and, you and somebody are from the same family uh, does not mean you should solve their entire problems. Uh, I've, I've, I've seen this over and over again. Imagine that you have no family member and you have nobody around to pay your bills, to help you, to encourage you. You can pick yourself up and encourage yourself. Use the wisdom that God has given to you and do what you need to do with your life. If you can take your eyes away from other people, you have solved at least 25% of your problem. Don't rely on anybody on earth. Your dependence should be on God. We look unto Jesus the author and finisher of our faith. We look unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Family members, friends, enemies, whatever it is, these are the people that you need to be very, very careful about. If God has blessed you enough and God has given you enough and you want to help a family member, it's okay, you can go ahead and help them. Um, but let every one of them know that they also need to stand up for themselves so that they can fight for themselves and fight for their lives. Do it yourself. I heard sometime in the past, Joyce Meyer, the preacher, she say, do it scared. One thing I would never forget about her is that she said, do it scared. Well, I do not like follow her messages all the time, but I heard her say that once in the past and I believe it is true. You can do things even when you're scared. 
uh, venture into something new, pick up a career, go to school, stand up, break the curse in your life. Uh, don't wait for anybody because the longer you're waiting for people to do it for you, the more you undermine the grace of God upon your life, the more you undermine the power of God upon your life, you can do it. Trust me, I know you can do it. I know you carry the grace. I know you carry the anointing. I know you are gifted. I know you are chosen. Stand up and do it. I pray that God will help you. I pray that God will give you wisdom. See, let me tell you something, child of God. Whatever the devil has used to laugh at you, to mock you, to ridicule you, it's okay. Let them mock you. Let them ridicule you. Let them laugh at you. You that they are laughing at, that they are mocking, Continue to do your best. Continue to pick yourself up. Continue to run towards the cross. And the God that made the heavens and the earth, he sees you. He hears you. He knows what is in your heart. He, God knows. God knows what is in your heart. And may God bless you. And may he bless the United States of America. May he bless the church. And may he bless his people. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Don't forget that Jesus loves you and may his love and his jealousy over your life prevail over you. God is jealous over you with godly jealousy. God bless you. Amen and amen.